All right, students, this is like my seventh try of making a video on getting this spreadsheet ready to graph. Um, I'm going to get it right this time, and we're going to be done. I'm going to be done. I've got to. Um, all right, so um, you're going to pick one independent variable from all this reaction time data. It could be handedness. It could be hours since your last meal. It might be amount of practice you had or amount of caffeine you had. Um, I picked gender signed at birth because um, it's, uh, it's pretty basic. <clears throat> we all know there's a lot more to gender than what's on your birth certificate, but for the sake of this experiment, that's what we're looking at, okay? So when I got this data, it was all mixed up. It went like male, male, female, female, prefer not to say female, ma'am. It was all mixed up. So the first thing I had to do was sort it. So all the females were together. Okay, so I am going to go to hours of sleep and reaction time, just to show you how I'm going to do this. So subject number doesn't matter. That's just the number I assigned you, um, your data, so you could be anonymous. In order to sort the data in which the way you want to, you highlight just the columns you want to, okay? And then you go to data. I want to sort it by the number of sleep, hours of sleep. Okay, that way I can um, look at it more closely. So I'm going to go data, sort, date, sort range, and I'm going to say data, data has a header row, and it's hours of sleep. I'm going to sort it. Okay, now, oh my gosh, some people only had two hours of sleep. All right, and so now you have it all sorted by the number of hours of sleep the person you had that next night, the night before the test. Okay, so... In order to graph, we're back to gender, assigned at birth. In order to graph, you are just graphing average reaction time. I've already done this with female. I've already sorted. I've already found reaction time um, for females. Now I'm going to do that for males. All right. So um, if you come to this spreadsheet, you can see my formula. This is how you do it. You do equal sum and then you put a parentheses and you highlight all of the cells you wanted to add up and then end parentheses. So for male, I'm gonna do the same thing. Equal sum equals S-U-M parentheses and then I'm gonna highlight all of the male numbers. Not the word male, just all the numbers that are associated with our male subject. So you highlight and then shift, okay? So you select them all and then do your end parentheses. Okay, so that is the total reaction time of the males. And I believe the number of subjects for males, we went from um, 65 down to, 118, so 118 minus 65, I'm just trying to find out how many that is, 53, we have 53 males that took the test, okay, so this is 53, now to find the average reaction time of the males, we have to take the total divided by, the total reaction time divided by the number of test subjects. And if I look at the female, this is the formula right here. It's equal sum. Okay, so we do equal sum. Parentheses. I know there's other ways of doing this, but this is just how I always do it. Uh, total reaction time, and then the little slash is for divided by, and then number of test subjects, and, and voila, you have their average reaction time for the male and the female, and this is what you will be graphing, just the average reaction time. And I did it, Phew. okay, go get your data, find your averages.